Hey, what's up? It's DJ. Welcome back to Go Ham Gear. Today we're going to be talking about cameras with my boy Ross Dorney. What's up, dude? What's up, man? How are you? Good to see you. I'm good. Good to see you, too. Ross is a professional photographer, videographer, freelance. Uh, he also works with a large, major company as well. This dude knows pretty much everything there is to know about cameras inside and out. So today we're going to utilize his help a little bit. We're going to be connecting a digital camera to your computer. We have three different ways right here. There's other ways that you could do this. Um, there's new ways with like uh, GoPros where you can run them wirelessly. Um, as far as we know, I think there's something new with the Sony cameras, but I don't know how that works yet. So we're going to show you <laughs> three, three different ways to connect your webcam or your computer to this, to this thing over here. You cool with that? Let's do it. So today we're gonna to be using the Sony A5100. We got a cable and we got a couple of different things with USB attached to them. But the camera is a big fa is a big factor when figuring out not only how you wanna get it plugged into your computer, but also the abilities of the camera. Not all cameras can do what we're doing today, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, some are gonna do 1080, some are gonna do 4K, some are gonna do 720. Yeah. Um, but, you know, really we're gonna start, we both are gonna recommend 1080s where you really wanna start with, um, if you're upgrading for something like a webcam, just because, you know, you wanna take that extra leap. So I think 1080 is really the next step for you. Um, and 4K is even step beyond that, but really 1080s where the standard is right now. Yep. And two, we're talking about mainly using these as your webcam. And the thing about plugging these in your computers is if you use them for gaming, your cameras can be itty bitty. It doesn't have to be 4K to do that. Um, then again, you've got face cam stuff. If you're curious, this camera right here, I have two of these. These are what we use for our live streams. So the face cam stuff where it's one full camera, um, whether it be from the front to the side, what I'm showing in game, this is the exact camera we're using. So you can go back and watch this video and see like, oh yeah, you yeah, see that, I get it. So uh, let's connect this to the computer. Let's do it. First, we are gonna be using the cheapest HDMI video capture that I found on Amazon. I don't even know how much this thing costs. It was like 22 something, something or another. Um, and then we have a cord. Now this is not just any HDMI cord, right? Mm -hmm. um, this is your normal HDMI, but it's also uh, that one. So that's gonna be your micro HDMI. Um, pretty much every Sony camera uh, has a micro HDMI port on them. Um, it's smaller. Um, the cables may be a little bit harder to find, but if you go anywhere and just search HDMI to mini HDMI, boom. And it's really easy, to be honest with you. You just plug in here, and then you plug the other end here. And then you're just gonna plug that straight into your computer via the USB-A mm -hmm. port. Now, this is the cheapest thing that I could find. The ones that I use are like 120 bucks. This was like 20 bucks. So the video quality on this is not gonna be as good, is it? No, um, you're gonna have a little bit of reliability issues with these sorts of things. Um, they're great for, you know, if you need to do one thing or two things, but something long-term like this is not what you're gonna really want. Um, yeah. Especially if you're gonna look to upgrade in the future, you might as well just spend a little bit of extra money and get the quality you want that's gonna last you a little bit longer. I know everybody says that to spend money, and it can be a lot of money sometimes, but look at it as an investment. Yeah. If you really wanna take your captures to the next level, you're gonna want something yep. uh, with a little bit of money invested in it. If you're gonna buy something good eventually, just save it for and buy one, so be done with mm -hmm. it. So let's see what this looks like. Starting off, we have the cheap HDMI capture, this little bad boy right here. Now, it's not bad, don't get me wrong, this isn't bad at all, but the colors aren't quite right. There's just, to me, something missing. It just looks a little bit cheap. It's not bad, it's just, uh, there's something. I don't know what it is. You can see back there. Look at me looking at you right there. Hey, oh, let's look this way as well. Hey! So again, not bad, but it's just not quite there. Next, we have the tried and true Elgato Cam Link 4K. Now, these do not say 4K on them anywhere. However, they are 4K. This one is. I don't even think they sell the 1080p version of this anymore. Um, and the good thing is, our camera, 1080p. You may see it yourself. Well, if my ten, or computer or camera's 1080p, why do I need a 4K capture card? Well, it really doesn't mean that your camera's immediately gonna be 4K. Some people may think that it does. It's gonna say, oh, my, my capture card's 4K, so my camera's gonna be 4K. All it's gonna do is say, you could go up to 4K. You're not gonna be doing 4K unless you say you're doing 4K. As a matter of fact, we're using an A6100, the big brother to this, mm -hmm. right here, running exactly one of these, but we are running 4K. 
Yeah. This, when you plug it in, it's just gonna run at 1080p. And that's okay. Um, that just means that later on, we don't have to upgrade this when we upgrade our camera, right? Yeah, exactly. So you're spending, you're spending a little more money, but you're saving a lot of money in the long term. So uh, this is the one that I would highly recommend if you are wanting to take your camera, plug it into your computer. Also, this, unlike the other, tricks your cam or computer into thinking that this is a webcam. And I don't know how exactly it works, but I can tell you it sends this little signal all the way to the camera and says, hey, don't turn off. You're being used all the time, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. It's really great because um, some of these cameras have built-in features to save power mm -hmm. and also um, the sensors inside to say, hey, you've been on too long. Turn off so we can save battery and save the sensor life. Yeah. But with this, you know, it kind of eliminates that. Yeah. These are the best. I would say let's check it out, but you guys are already looking at it. But let's check it out anyway. And here is the Cam Link 4K. Man, this is so clean, dude. You can see around the studio, we got you right here. Look, you can see yourself looking at yourself with this one. I love this Cam Link. This, just get the Cam Link. You don't even need to see the next one. Two out of the way, we've got one more that we're gonna show off today. And this is a bit overkill, and I don't know a reason to use this, at least now that the Cam Link is out. Now, you used to use this beforehand when you were, did uh, streams, right? Yeah, um, the HD60 is great, um, and, it, and it got the job done. Yeah. Um, it, it was a little more expensive than the Cam Link, like a lot more expensive than the Cam Link, but uh, Elgato didn't really have a solution, or nobody really had a solution that was good enough and reliable enough, like the HD60, that could you know, run what I was looking to run. And then they finally came out with the Cam Link. A lot of people have been asking for it and really, really were like, Elgato, we need this, we need this, we need this. And a lot of streamers really put in a lot of good uh, information and kind of helped Elgato craft something that was really great. Man. So this is kind of an out of date solution at this point. One cool thing about this is you can use this with any HDMI, so, uh, any HDMI signal. So like we have our HDMI cord plugged into our camera here. Boop. It works. We'll go HDMI out. We can add our own audio in if we really decide that we want to do that. So if you got a headphone or a headset or something like that, you can add your own audio into this, which is kind of cool. It gives you some extra features, but really you don't need this anymore. Not for a camera. This is more for consoles. Actually, that's the exact one that I use for my Xbox. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, something else you're going to run into with these is HDCP, uh, high definition yeah. content protection. You know, some things some, just won't work. Yep, some things are just not going to work with it. And you know, Play, that's, PlayStation's right out of the box. By the way, they will not work. You have to turn it off. Yeah, because it's the, it's the game companies and things like that protecting their content, making sure you're not pirating and things like that. Yeah. So you know, that's one of the big issues you may run into with the HD60. Um, but with the Camlink, you're not going to have that issue because yeah. it's built specifically for cameras. Whereas this is built for devices with HDMI. This is only built for cameras. Yeah. So now you can use this with anything in, but the problem between this and this would be the output. This allows you to pass the video signal through to a monitor, which would be perfect for gameplay. Plug your PlayStation in one side, output the other side to your monitor so you can play zero latency and you can plug this into your computer and work with it fine. Unfortunately, this is one input is your HDMI. We'll do audio. These One thing a lot of people don't know is the cameras, most of these have audio on them mm -hmm. and it passes that audio through here. So let's say like we're using clip mics, but we've also got a shotgun microphone up here kind of filling in some space. We could use the shotgun microphone plugged into here, then plug into here and we get that shotgun mic audio. Yeah, there. which is really great. It's a great solution. And it'll work with this too. But again, if you just need it for your camera, just get this. But I wonder what this looks like. Let's do it, let's see it. Yeah. And here we are with the HD60. Now this does not have 4K capabilities. Actually, the only one that we showed off today that does have 4K capability is the Cam Link. This little boy right here. Uh, this is only 1080p, this is a 1080p camera, so that's okay. Uh, as well as the first one we looked at, that's only 720. Uh, it says it, 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 it,
So don't, don't get the cheap one. Please don't get the cheap one. Just spend the money on it. Um, but it's really cool to see the differences between these and see, you know, see there's really not much of a difference between the two, but how they speak to the camera is way different. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that um, statement. That's pretty cool. So that is it for this one. If you have any questions about connecting your camera to your computer, feel free to put those down in the comment section below. And if you have any ideas for future video, hey, let us know there as well. I wanna know what you have to say. Again, check out my boy right here on Instagram. He is the bomb.com. Otherwise, this is uh, gonna be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. Post down in the comment section. What else? And we'll see you later. Peace.